Anyang Hasio and welcome to the Boost on Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald. Tonight we wrap up our series of anti-drug propaganda with the cult classic, Reefer Madness. First though, it's the next episode of Zorro's Black Whip. Last time, the whip escaped being blown up by walking through the other side of the tent, while Vic woke up to be a useless grinning idiot. Then the writers got bored and decided to send everyone out of town. Wide shots of a wagon train being attacked ensue, and the whip got knocked off a cliff when she arrived to help. And now, a heretofore unseen level of inventiveness and creativity, Episode 8 of Zero's Black Whip, The Invisible Victim. Welcome back! Tonight's feature is Reefer Madness. Teenagers are tricked into smoking the ultra-addictive drug, marijuana, leading them down the path of decadence and destruction. If this sounds like the plot to our previous entry as the cocaine fiends and assassin of youth, that's because it is! This film even uses the phrase assassin of youth. So if you know anything about Reefer Madness, you know that it's not good. The original intent was to discourage drug use, and it has since become one of the most beloved drug films of all time. That's the definition of irony, but it's also very camp. I could go down a lot of rabbit holes about theory, intent, propaganda, and so many other subjects connected to this movie, but none of those would communicate the fundamental silliness of it. So smoke them if you got them, and settle in for tonight's feature, Reefer Madness. Tonight's movie is Reefer Madness, and am I the only one getting Big Plan 9 from Outer Space Vibes from this flick? You have Dr. Alfred Carroll introducing the film looking and sounding like a low-rent Criswell. You may also believe that the facts have been exaggerated. We are giving you all the evidence, based only on the secret testimony of the miserable souls who survived this terrifying ordeal. And I feel a curious echoing happening here. I've got to see Jack. We can't let that kid hang. You see? You see? Your stupid minds! Stupid! Stupid! Okay, not as clear a parallel, but there's a general vibe at work. Or maybe it's just me. See what strikes you as we return to the second half of Reefer Madness. That was Reefer Madness, and I couldn't tell the difference between Jimmy and Bill either. But this guy stood out. All of cinema was worth it for this moment. Let's see what we'll be watching next time. Hey everybody, let's take a trip to the beach. They'll be singing, dancing, singing, dancing, singing, 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 a never ending nightmare of mayonnaise melodies, spiceless rhythms, and a tail. Your tail? Surrender to the suffering and the hallucinogenic horror, The Fat Spy. Next time on the Busan Midnight Movie. Teenagers, Wait, isn't isn't the next episode May 1st? That's Labor Day. You're not making me work on Labor Day? No, I, I, I'm not doing it. Hey, no outro until this is settled. If you think you make me come in here and waste my time on this bull- Thank you for joining us for tonight's episode. If you enjoyed yourself, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.